Here we go again. The printer is doing this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Judith and if you're new here, I make videos all about the behind the scenes of a candle business. And if you're an OG, welcome back. So the background is a little different today because we're going to be discussing my label printer and I wanted you guys to have it in view. So a couple months ago, if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. I discussed the full details of my printer, what type of ink it uses, how many printers, how many printers, how many labels it can spit out. Is it good? Is it worth the cost? Because it's a pretty hefty price tag, especially for beginners. If you're beginning, I don't suggest you go with this. Just get yourself a regular printer. But if you want to see full details talking about this printer, I will link that video down below so you can get all of that. Um, I won't go into too much details about that because this video is really just giving you an update on where I stand on this printer. Do I still think it's worth it? A lot of you guys are reaching out to me asking me about the label printer that I use. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. The last time we spoke, I was having a printing issue with the label. Uh, with the labels, it was coming out kind of like gradient, kind of like, uh, you know, is that what you call it? Gradient? Yeah, when it like fades. Yeah, it was coming out gradient, kind of like fading off into nothing. It was giving me huge issues. Um, I wanted to cry. I prop actually I did cry a couple times because that's me. I'm a crier when something doesn't work. I just start crying and then Peter usually steps in and fixes it for me. So I ended up calling back the company. I bought it from a company called Primera. So I ended up calling them and talking to a representative and telling them that I'm not 100% satisfied with the quality of this printer. And for the hefty price tag, I believe I spent 1300 on this printer. It should be producing high quality images and not giving me such printing issues. Um, they kind of calmed me down. I was actually asking for a full refund, even though I was way past my limited warranty. Um, but after speaking with them, they made me aware that I actually never replaced a small little piece. Um, I actually did a video on that also. So I'll insert a clip of Peter changing a piece. It's called a wiper. wiper. It's a tiny little thing that you put underneath the cartridge and it does what it says. It wipes the ink as it's printing, allowing it to print better. And I will tell you that after replacing that tiny little piece, I have not had any issues whatsoever. Um, I know that I mentioned I was having alignment issues um, and that was due to the fact that I have my printer connected to a Mac. It's not 100% compatible because of the doggle that you use to connect it because this is actually made for a PC. So if you have a PC, it's gonna be smooth like butter. You connect it, you're never gonna have any issues, probably. But with a Mac, there's always some sort of slight compatibility issues. There's no software that you have to download in order to get this to work on your Mac. You just connect it and it's like a regular printer. You select it within your preferences and then you, and you start to print. It's $1,300. Is it worth it? It really depends on how much product you are actually producing. If you're experiencing high volumes of orders and you're making like hundreds of pieces in units, if you have a lot of wholesale clients, then I highly recommend it. I do think that it's worth it, especially when I used to personally hand cut every single label with the paper cutter, print it out off of my regular printer and hand cut everything. And the reason why I was hand cutting everything versus getting labels the exact size I need is because I have a very odd shaped candle jar. It's an apothecary jar. The dimensions to get the labels right was very odd. But now that I have this printer, I can order my specific labels to size perfectly and I've never had any problems with it. So do I think it's worth it? Yeah, I do. But if I had it to do over again, I probably maybe would not even buy this and I would go with my HP laser jet that I have. I actually, oh, it's actually right here. So I have an HP color laser jet, which is the best printer ever. If you can get yourself one of these, this is probably about $500. Um, get yourself one of these and you will never have to buy another printer ever again. This will do you just fine. There are many times and actually right now when I have to print out um, circle labels for my candle tins, I still have problems 
with this because I can't get the color 100% correct. So what I end up doing is printing it on here and getting the online labels or Avery circle labels for my gold tins and it does the job. So do I think that this $1,300 printer should be printing all of my labels? Yeah, it should. So because of that, I probably wouldn't buy it again if I had the choice. Um, I don't know, maybe I just got a fluke printer that has all of the problems wrong with it um, because it probably would be my luck to get something that's just like a dud. But maybe if they gifted me a new printer, I would have different thoughts about it. So Primera, if you're watching this, give me a new printer. Give me something to rave about uh, and we'll talk. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I would probably go with a high quality regular printer because this thing does the job perfectly. What I do love about the Primera label, this is actually the LX500C. The C stands for cutter. It cuts the labels for you as it's coming out. So what I do love about this is that when I have an order of 500 candles, I don't have to worry about replacing paper as I would in a regular printer. You know, you can only fit maybe so many labels in the little tray here. This holds a roll full of thousands of little labels. So if I'm printing 200 labels for my lip balms or my perfumes or something, it's just spitting it out and working it and I don't have to worry about it. Quality is great. It can print the tiniest of prints perfectly. Um, so I do love it. So after watching this and watching my previous video that's linked down below, definitely watch that put the thoughts together. Actually, I think I'm wearing the same exact shirt as I was in that video, but which is nice. So it's kind of like a continuation. Um, but anyway, watch that video after watching this and come up with your own decisions. Let me know if you think it's worth it. I know many of you guys have been debating about getting this printer. Um, yeah, I don't want to scare you away. It's a fantastic printer. I just had the toughest time getting the alignment to work and then the little wiper. I didn't know you have to replace that wiper every three years. Had I known that, I probably wouldn't have had half the problems that I have experienced with this printer. But um, yeah, I don't wanna scare you guys away from getting it. So if you're interested in it, it's definitely a good printer. They have higher quality printers that cost even more money than the 1300 that I shelled out for this. Do with that as you wish and really think about it. But I do believe in investing in your company um, because cheap things end up being expensive the more you have to replace it. So think about that. Yes, I think that if this ever broke down, I have this as a backup. I'd love to be able to have just one printer at my desk, but instead I'm stuck with this where I'm having to use two to get the work done, which is such a pain in the butt. But in the end, I would have needed a regular printer anyway, because I do print out other documents and things like that, but I probably wouldn't have spent the money on such a high quality printer, but I'm glad that I do because even though I am paying a lot more money for the ink and the toner and things like that, it does last a very long time on this printer. Um, whereas the ink cartridges for this do not last that long. Um, I don't even, I mean, it's a couple thousand, you just push this button here to get the ink out. It's a couple thousand labels that it can print with this cartridge. The quality of labels that I'm printing because they do have so much color it's using the ink a lot faster. Um, so my ink cartridge, I feel like doesn't last me that long. Maybe it lasts me two or three months, depending on how much product I'm producing. I think that's the one downfall of this that I actually hate, aside from all the issues that I was having before. So this is just a quick little update to let you know how I feel about it. And I still don't know how I feel, so. Here we go again. The printer is doing this. Like, I seriously can't even take it anymore. I don't know what to do. Um, yeah, I'm so disappointed. I think I'm over it. Um, I don't know why I'm the only one that this has happened to. None of my other candle maker friends that I know that have this printer go through such drama. But, yeah, that's how I'm feeling right now. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. All right, and we fixed it. 
so there's a video on Primera where they say you need to take off, take out the ink and wipe it on a piece of paper. So I didn't have paper, I wiped it on my leggings and we're clean. Well, the label's clean, not my pants. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. If you like this type of content, subscribe. Please subscribe because it lets me know that you guys are loving my channel and you wanna be a part of it. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.